This dish is commonly found on pub menus as a starter up and down Britain and we're going to recreate it for you today. These breaded mushrooms we're going to pass through flour, egg and breadcrumb and then serve with a homemade mayonnaise flavoured with lemon and tarragon. Okay, to start with we've got button mushrooms. Now these are really, really small ones. All we've done is just kind of brush them to get rid of any dirt. You don't really want to wash them because they'll go soggy. These are the really cheap ones, aren't they? Yes, button mushrooms, it's pretty standard. To that we're going to add flour, egg and breadcrumbs to so panne them. Okay. Same as with fish fingers, chicken goujons, we've done all those recipes before. I know what panne is. You can check those out, but this is mushrooms and a couple of eggs, if you can just crack those into yep. there, with a splash of milk. So good egg wash, needs eggs and a bit of milk whisked together. Now you could leave it as plain and simple as that, but I think a little bit of garlic powder into the flour and plenty of salt and pepper is a really nice way of seasoning up our mushrooms. While we're doing this, we've also got a pan of oil which we're gently bringing up to a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius. That would be perfect to cook our mushrooms. Double or not? Single is fine on this, we need to go through one layer. But when you're panning, if you keep your fingers okay. dry, then I can get kind of in with the egg and you can do the dry bits. Okay. You don't end up panning your fingers as well. Could we use posh mushrooms? You can use any mushrooms. In fact, most veg work really well in this. The same way that chicken, fish, prawns. Deep fried veg. While I leave you to do that, Baz, yep. I'm going to make some homemade mayonnaise. Now, of course, you can just buy mayonnaise in a jar and flavour it with lemon and tarragon, but making your own is amazing. So to start off with, we need to separate out two eggs and we just need the yolks for this dish. So we'll save the whites for another occasion. The key is, Take your time, isn't it? Yes. Slowly. If you race mayonnaise and you go too quickly, it will split. Okay? So, we've got our egg yolks, about a teaspoon or so of white wine vinegar, some mustard powder, which will help emulsify it as we now dribble in our oil very, very slowly. And amazingly, it will thicken up to a mayonnaise consistency. It won't be white like the stuff you buy, because we're using fresh eggs, to have that beautiful golden colour, and rapeseed oil but it will taste amazing. First time I had homemade mayonnaise, I presumed it was off because it was yellow. No, I thought all mayonnaise was good. white. If you've got a machine to do this, you can use one. But actually, I think by hand, because if you burnt the mayonnaise. As you get to the end of the mayonnaise, you can start to speed up the drizzle. You put the last lot in, but that's pretty much the consistency you're looking for. How long does that keep for? It'll keep in the fridge for three or four days, no problem. No. Um, but fresh mayonnaise is so much. In fact, just taste that as it is. It's not even seasoned yet. The rapeseed oil mm. is mm. good. We need to season it at this point. And we can add in all our extra flavours. What I'm doing there, do you want to put your mushrooms into the pan? So the oil is at 170 degrees Celsius. To lower them in safely. Okay. Put them onto a slotted spoon, you just lower them in. Same as, it'll act like a fryer basket. Ooh. And give them sort of three or four minutes to go crispy, but so the mushrooms are soft inside. We've seasoned the mayonnaise, but now we're going to flavour it with the zest of lemon and some tarragon. The tarragon's very aniseed flavour. You've got quite a bit of it in there. You can grab a knife first and start yep. chopping that up. Clear down all of this. And then when you take your mushrooms out of the oil, you want to drain off excess oil. With just a bit of kitchen roll or a clean J cloth, something like that. Do you want just the leaves? Just the leaves is good. Leaves. Yep. Okay. This is such a cool snack. If I, if I bought this out, impress the lads, Blow them away. It's a very familiar smell. Aniseed. Oh. What popular dish is that from? The same as fennel, the same as sambuca. Sambuca, that. Or licorice. Licorice! Chop that up nice and fine. Beautiful, and then throw it in there. And you get flecks of lemon zest, flecks of tarragon. Now, the longer you leave this, the more flavour that tarragon will give to the mayonnaise. But there it is. You can spoon some into there. How are the mushrooms looking? Pretty good. Nice and golden brown. At this point, they can come out. I think there's some rocket in the fridge, Baz. Yep. We'll just use that to line our bowl. Nice bed. Now, these are absolutely perfect. Of course, you can do loads of other deep fried finger food. If you want to give them a go, head to the website, check them out. We've got samosas, we've got lemonade, calamari. You name so it, we've got on. it. Perfect. There we go. Our breaded garlic mushrooms with homemade lemon and tarragon mayonnaise. Sorted. Damn. Looking forward to this. It might be hot inside, but have a dunk. Try it with the mayo. Are they going to scold me? Try it. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked mm. mushrooms with a crispy breadcrumb outing. Oh, they're good. They smell garlicky and they taste lemony. If you do make these, then make sure you take some photos and put them on Instagram and hashtag it sorted food. We would love to see your results.